Imagine a place where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. A place where the laws of physics as we know them cease to exist. Welcome to the world of black holes. Phase one, the dimming of stars. My throat, came person. We observe the stars burning. What we don't see is their glow and flow. It never will get March. The stars shine by fusing hydrogen into helium in a process governed by a strong nuclear force. The equation is described as As hydrogen depletes, the star tends to um, evolve into an end game, which is considered to be the one dwarf. Now, for stars are like our sun, and approximately 10 by the power of 14 years, which is 10 quintillion years, this would lead to the expansion of the red dwarf phase. But this is just the beginning of the cosmic collapse. Eventually, star formation ceases. In about 10 by the power of 24 years, which is an extravagant number, even red dwarfs, those with lifespans longer than the sun, would run out of fuel. What we're witnessing right now is the unraveling of the universe. The final star will run out and will descend into a cosmic expansion, leading the universe to become an incarnation. This era is called the degenerate era. Our universe now 100 trillion years old, has entered the degenerate era. Star formation has ceased, and the last red dwarfs, one of the longest burning stars, have exhausted their nuclear fuel. What remains are the echoes of a once thriving cosmos, white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. With fusion extinct, only residual thermal radiation persists. Dictated by the Stefan Boltzmann law, where T approaches absolute zero, Quantum degeneracy, pressure governed by the Pauli exclusion principle, prevents total collapse. But these stellar corpses inevitably cool into black dwarfs, a process taking up to 10 by the power of 15 years. Yet, even these remains aren't internal. Phase 2 The Black Hole Air. Now, imagine this is a black hole, and this Usually, it's not an accurate representation, but of course, we can consider this as a model. And imagine in a three dimensional space, three dimensional surface space, we have a huge hole, which is the densest, the densest conception to ever exist in the universe. Now, let's just imagine this is the singularity, which is the bottom of a black hole. And this is the sun. Whatever around this radius, it always tends to have an escape velocity which is essentially for it to escape the black hole's gravitational force. Now, its gravity is so strong that it tends to take down and move to singularity, which of course this planet will run out of all of its radiation in seconds and its nuclear fuel will all be destructive. Now, I'll be considering the black holes to be the dark lords of the cosmos, black holes. These remains of massive stars may seem like survivors, but their fate is sealed in the law of physics. As the universe cools, gravity dominates. The process of Hawking radiation describes in how black holes lose their mass and eventually evaporate. The government, the formula governing this conception is where the H, the H constant represents the Planck's constant, and CC represents you know, light. Now, um, GGG represents the gravitational constant, as NMM represents the mass of the black hole. Now, the evaporation of black holes exponentially shows that it will take roughly 10 to the power of 68 years, which is an enemy marvelous number 
and this is typically a stellar mass black hole, which are the generic black holes that are studied in the gray. Now, what causes a black hole? There's a probability of black hole being caused whenever the core of the planet is very, very dense, and whenever it tends to lose all the there, the screen up occurs. That's a similarity forms into a black hole, and that's a generic and fundamental explanation of how black holes are generated. But supermassive black holes, on the other hand, could last up for 10 to the power of 100 years, which is a number that is considered to be good. Yet, they eventually succumb to cosmic dense densities. The universe is heading towards an era dominated by supermassive black holes, but they're not eternal. This shows the slow dissipation which will lead to nothing but things. Invisible to any observer, the universe's energy reserves are dwindling. The cosmic dark age will set no new structures, but matter and energy all dissipate until everything is consumed by black holes, which is a theoretical, uh, a theoretical conception developed by famous uh, scientists such as Albert Einstein and Sir Isaac Newton. They really thought that black holes, supermassive black holes to be specific, could take over the universe.